Shalom. Our verse today is Matthew chapter 6 verse 34. So do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. This verse concludes Jesus' admonition on people's concern for food and clothing. The key word in our verse is anxiety, merim now. This is the feeling of worry, nervousness, or unease about something with an uncertain outcome. Psychologically, it is a mental condition characterized by excessive apprehensiveness about real or perceived threats, dangers, or misfortunes. Anxiety is also a strong desire to do something or for something to happen. Therefore, three things cause anxiety. First, the uncertainty of the outcome of events. Second, the fear of danger. Third, the eagerness to accomplish things in life. In the words of Jesus, human beings fundamentally worry about life and about the body. With regard to life, we worry about what to eat or drink. Concerning the body, we are worried about how to make it presentable, beautiful, and appealing. Jesus reminds us that we are worth more than the birds in the sky. They do not sow or reap, yet God provides for them. He also states that we are worth more than the flowers of the field, yet God clothes them beyond compare. If God takes care of the birds and the flowers, will He abandon His image on earth? Oh, don't you know that the glory and image of God is one fully alive? As God's image, we are the representation of the Creator in His creation. It is for this reason that Jesus admonishes, do not be anxious. He asks, can any of you be, by being anxious, add a single moment to your lifespan? Today is what we have and there are many troubles to handle, so why are you so worked up? about the troubles of tomorrow when you haven't solved those of today. I understand why we are so worried about the future, especially in Nigeria. We have crooks everywhere leading our government and institutions. We see leaders making unwise decisions and plunging the country into further debt and troubles. All they care about is themselves and their immediate families. It is indeed a reason for worry. The question, however, is, Will our worrying stop them from destroying the nation? The solution to the destruction is this. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. How do we do that? Firstly, by storming the heavens with our cry for help. Only God can bring the needed change to our rotten world. Second Chronicles 7.14 says, If my people upon whom my name has been pronounced humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their evil ways, I will hear them from heaven and pardon their sins and heal their land. The second thing we have to do is to seek justice. We should not reward criminals with leadership positions in our societies. We should vote them out of leadership and hold them accountable. Finally, dear brothers and sisters, cast all your anxieties onto God, for He cares. See 1 Peter 5 7. Let us pray. Lord, to whom shall we, shall we go for respite? You alone have the word of comfort and of peace. Amen.